Hey everybody, we are here and we are bringing forth yet another new segment mm -hmm. where we are reviewing our latest 4Ks. Mm -hmm. And uh, this will just be a part of our reviews that we have. So we'll have theatrical reviews and we'll have what is near and dear to our heart, if you've been following us for a while, physical media reviews. And uh, and so we will continue to support it. And our new one that we have today is first, Venom, Let There Be Carnage. But go ahead. First, I don't mean to throw a curveball. We have a sponsor for today's video. Uh-oh. Efren, I have a surprise for you. Oh, uh, let's hear I got it. You, I got us an early Christmas present. Oh, sweet. It is called Jesus Loves Movies. <laughs> nice. Every day devotional for film fans. By nice. a guy named Phil Stragonagonali. So <laughs> I told him on Twitter. I picked up his book for us. Sent him a channel. He checked out our channel. I told him we'd give him a shout out. So read the first devotion uh, today around Toy Story. So I'll be giving you your copy on Sunday. So Sweet. Phil, I'm looking forward to it. Channel. Here's your shout out. Jesus Loves oh, Movies. Man. I love it. I can't wait to check it out. That sounds awesome. I'm glad you did that. So far, so good. Anyway, surprise. But yeah. today... Hey, that's awesome. I love it. I can't wait to get it. Oh, yeah. We had to, people. We had to. It is just... We had to pick up our 4K copy of Venom, Let There Be Carnage. And oh, and looks like we have some technical difficulties with uh, Gary's computer. He's been having some issues. But we picked this up. And yesterday, this we of course had to get like we like of course we have to have 4K stuff, and then we went to Best Buy to get the Steelbook copy of this um, because one we love Steelbooks, we need to be able to afford them all the time, but we will get them whenever we can, and especially with certain videos, or certain movies, we have to have a Steelbook with them because Steelbook art is awesome. I mean, okay, guys, look at this. So look at this cover. Like you see, it's there, obviously, the steel book. That is a cool cover. And then you see the back as well. Kind of the same, but a little bit bigger. You see a little bit more detail and venom and stuff. And then when you move it slightly, well, I guess it's hard because of the light. Uh, but it does, it is reflective on the eyes and things. Um, you have the, the nice little uh, venom, let there be carnage right there. And um, so, yeah, so this thing, this thing's pretty awesome. Um, if you open it up, another thing that I love about steel books is that you also have on the inside... You have, uh, you see, inside art. The other side is Venom. This side over here is Venom. Pretty much this picture right here of the disc. Um, so it comes with that. So it came with the 4K, the Blu-ray, the digital code. Um, you know, the 4K has, this ha does run HDR um, and all that great kind of stuff. And then the Blu-ray has a special features and things like that. Um, so this is what we have. And this is something that is, um, like, I was excited to get. If you checked out our rapid reviews, we did a rapid review on this um, uh, briefly on it and just talked about how, you know, it was fun. It wasn't like an amazing, like Oscar worthy movie, but it was just a fun movie. And it was a movie that we were very, very excited for. And, uh, Gary's back, everybody. Back. Sorry, technical difficulties. I'm back though. Yeah, he's back. So I'm just kind of telling him like, like if you checked out this review, here's what we thought of the movie. And, you know, we, we gave it a three. It was a solid, it was a fun movie. Um, but we definitely had to check this out. And uh, Gary, just to keep you updated, I went ahead and showed him the inside, the back and all that kind of stuff of the steel book. And uh, so we picked it out. And then uh, what's funny is I was able to actually watch the movie last night. Gary watched the special features. So we'll kind of talk from both of those ends. But I will say this, Gary, and uh, to everyone watching. So I got a new AV receiver um, that does you know, 4K video, sound, um, HDR, all that kind of stuff. Finally got everything working the way I wanted to properly because mm -hmm. there's all these settings between the TV and that you got to get to line up just right to make it all work. And uh, when I watched this last night, dude, the sound was so crisp. Okay. It was awesome with this disc. Um, the picture, even my wife, Katie, uh, she's a graphic designer. She's a very visual person and very artsy. And she was like, what's the difference between this and before? I'm like, because now we can actually have full 4K. She's like, this is amazing. Like, this looks so good. And uh, it was great. That does and, uh, well. Yes, she was so excited. I was excited. So watching this, like, it was funny because, Gary, when you and I watched this in the theater, there were certain mm -hmm. parts that seemed a little too dark. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of like, it was kind of hard to see. Not with this 4K. Right on. Not with the 4K. The 4K video, everything is crisp. It's clear. The HDR on it is great. So you don't get that fuzzy when things pan. You see <sighs> everything very clear. Love it. Love um, it. Yeah, it was it, it was it was fantastic. Honestly, I think because of the level of sound with my surround sound and the clarity of it and just how good everything looked like the the blacks were black, the whites were white. Uh -huh. Like dude, like it it was amazing. And 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 that alone, honestly, I think I enjoyed the movie more the second time because one I could see a little bit more. So yeah. that was good. Um, we watched it the way it was created to be watched, you know. The HDR, yeah. you know. Yeah, so it, 
Yeah, so it, it looks it looks fantastic, and it also has the uh, this 4K version. They don't always do this, which I was glad. They have the IMAX ver- ratio on it, so it, so it, oh, you didn't have yeah. the little widescreen. It's the big widescreen. So on my TV, like which is cut. 70 inches, yeah. Okay. Well, no, Snyder cut yeah. Snyder cut t- cuts off the side. This okay. took up the whole TV. Oh, right. So like, okay. yeah. So kind of like the Dark Knight Rises, kind of. Yeah, bit. like Dark Knight oh, Rises yeah. or. Yeah. Um, yeah, or or if you watch any of the IMAX ones on Disney Plus, like Shang Chi or anything like that, gotcha. like okay. it looks like that. So pretty much like the black lines at the top and bottom mm-hmm. are like this big. Okay. Um, so oh, you I get the wider, yeah, you yeah. get the wider, bigger look for it. Yeah. Which I'm glad they don't always do that on blue. They on Blu-ray or 4Ks. Mm-hmm. I'm glad mm-hmm. they did it with this one when they do it with that. It just makes it so much better. I have this massive TV. I want as much picture as possible on it. Yeah, um, indeed, indeed. So yeah. I I was very excited and I like that part of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I uh, tonight uh, after uh, AEW Dynamite on TNT, I will be uh, throwing this in the uh, 4K player and watching it and experiencing that amazing picture quality. I have to watch these at night because the sunlight in the house we live in now, which we're moving soon, is just it doesn't do the movies justice. So I'm going to watch mm-hmm. it in pitch black dark tonight to really experience that picture. Because you know me, I'm all about that that picture. I love it. Mm-hmm. You know, I have a good picture. But this is a beautiful still book. Um, it really is, and. I, I usually buy the standard editions, but when you have a steelbook that looks like this, I'm going to go for oh, it. Yeah. You already yeah. talked about it, folks. Look at that. I'm sorry. But anyway, no, but I did so check out some of the special features. Um, mm-hmm. Not many, but uh, it's simple. You know, they got some bloopers. Uh, they got some deleted scenes. And the deleted scenes, some of the stuff's not done filming yet. So it looks very uh, animated. Right. Um, but uh, one thing that was pretty cool, it was like seven minutes long. It was an action scene featurette that had Andy Circus talking about um, production and just mm. basically it was a simple short thing it reminded me of the things that used to play on hbo before the movies came on uh-huh. you know, hbo would be like before because they had to have this movie start like right at the top of the hour they'd have like a five minute featurette for the new movie yeah. um but it was andy circus talking about it and woody harrelson talking about it and had tom hardy on it and you can just tell they had a lot of fun with this movie so mm-hmm. pretty worth checking out and uh, that was um all the features i really got to check out um right you know. Uh, I don't know if there's a commentary, but that would be cool if there would be. Yeah, there there is one on there. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure if I remember reading correctly, I think it's Circus and Hardy that, that are cool. that are both doing it. Out. If I if I read it correctly, I may have like I don't have the little slip obviously that yeah. came with it. I I get rid of that because it's useless. Yeah, um, I do the same. I do the same. But um, but I'm pretty sure it has the that. Special on features are on the Blu-ray disc, not the 4K disc. Yes. Yeah. So. Yes, yeah, so the 4K is for all the 4K awesomeness that they mm-hmm. need to carry. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, this thing, I mean, I liked it a lot. I love this. I love the steel book. Um, you know, I would highly recommend getting the steel book. Remember, from Best Buy or mm-hmm. even when Target does steel books, mm-hmm. um, the only, it's literally, steel books are always a limited edition. Yep. So they make so many. Once they're done, they're done, and you they don't make more. And so once they're gone, they shoot up on eBay. Yes. Holy cow. Yeah, they do. Uh, and, there are, and there are people who straight up just, buy these just mm-hmm. to turn around and sell them because they know it's gone. Yep. So when I was at uh, Best Buy yesterday, they still had quite a few left. Mm-hmm. Um, I placed my order for pickup just to make sure, but they still had quite a few left, at least at, at our uh, Best Buy. Um, you might be worth checking out or just going on the app or something and buying it. If you really want the steelbook, yes, the steelbook's probably an extra $6, I think, Maybe. from the normal 4K, um, but it's pretty cool. But if not, there's also a very cool um, Target exclusive if you can get your hands on that that has some fan art and stuff that's in it um and they have like a pretty cool um cover and things like that Uh, but it's only blu-ray it's not 4k but if you're okay okay with that target has a pretty cool looking one as well but um but definitely they did a good job sorry sorry target seems to be doing really well with their digi books Mm -hmm. and uh best buy has been doing really well with the steel books when you're yeah. out and the way i justify it is because you know buying movies these days are few and far between for me uh mm-hmm. so i have to be selective so when i get to be selective i can buy the special ones and this was a cool pickup yeah yeah and it was a lot of fun so highly recommend if you enjoyed the movie obviously go out pick it up um uh, obviously we're recommending the steel book everything about it's really awesome the 4k if you have those capabilities top notch all around um they did a really good job uh, getting that on the disc properly. And uh, if not, I'm sure the Blu-ray looks great as well. It just depends on what equipment you have that you can watch movies on. And uh, definitely pick it up. Keep supporting physical media. Let Hollywood yes. know 
We mm-hmm. want this in our hands. Mm-hmm. We don't just want a digital code that they can take away one day and then we spent twenty dollars for nothing. You dang right. I digress. Get it while you can, folks. Get it while you can. Yeah. So there's our review, ladies and gentlemen. As always, hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. Mm-hmm. Hit the like button as well. YouTube gods love it when you hit the like. We also know what you guys like. And yeah. then uh, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos because it's a big week. We it talked is. about Venom. You know, Spider-Man stuff's happening. We will see you guys very soon again. So we'll see you.